We'll have your top stories in just a minute, but first let's toss it over to Color Eats Jeremy Rindall in the Weather Lab for a look at today's weather headlines. Good morning, Jeremy. In the meantime, stocks closed at their highest level last night in more than eight months after the Federal Reserve pledged to keep interest rates near zero for three more years. It had previously promised to keep rates low until at least mid-2013. What is the first thing as a member of Congress that you will do based on this speech to get things going in 2012? Well, he has to res uh, present his budget to Congress. President Obama today announced the end of the Iraq War, one of the longest and most divisive military conflicts in American history. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Laura Kennedy filling in for Sarah Gravely. Let's go to Steve Handelsman at the White House live with the latest. Steve. Thanks and good evening. Now back to you. All right, thanks so much, Steve. A toddler who was run over twice by vans and then ignored by passerbys on a busy street in China died today, one week after the accident. The two year old girl came to symbolize what many Chinese see as a downward spiral of public morals after decades of fast economic growth and rising prosperity. A bit closer to home, a Yellowstone County Sheriff's officer is demoted after sexual harassment allegations. Sheriff Mike Linder says an investigation found Sergeant Steve McCollum harassed a coworker since May of 2009. At one point, he asked the woman if she would consider having an affair with a married man. McCollum told investigators, though he was joking, he has now been demoted to a deputy and is not eligible for a promotion for at least two years. Turning to the economy, the unemployment rate in Montana went down in September. It decreased crews from Montana and Canada recently got together in Glacier National Park to focus on ways to improve search and rescue efforts. NBC Montana's Scott Zoltan has that story. We want people's input in the next couple weeks when that radar is down, right, Kristen? Yes, the radar is going to go down uh, starting Monday. And to show solidarity, the color pink is popping up all over the place, including at the largest rodeo in the state. That is where Color Eats McLeod Hageman is, and he's going to tell us a little bit about a partnership between the Nile and St. Vincent Healthcare that's helping save lives. Hey, Mac. Well, just after this break, we have a love story for you tonight. One Billings couple teaches us that it is never too late to fall in love.